hello friends welcome back to another video in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix no 117 packs romana game not launching or not opening or won't launch error on pc so let's go through it so the very first method is to check system requirements so for that go to steam now uh, in the search option you have to search for the game after that go below and here you can see the system requirements to play the game make sure your pc have all the required specs to play the game and after that try to launch the game and check if it's opening or not next solution is to restart your pc as well as steam so steam users click on steam option over here now click on exit after that click on windows icon now click on power and then select restart so this will restart your system as well as steam now after restarting check if you can play the game if not next solution is to verify, verify integrity of game files so for that go to steam under library section select your game here i am showing you an example now after selecting the game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so this will verify the game files once the game files are verified launch the game and check if it's launching or not if not next solution is to update graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for device manager now go below expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search and update your graphics drivers to the latest version after that launch the game and check nvidia and amd users go through the link that i have already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on browse local files now this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed here you have to select your game application now after the game is selected right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator now click on apply and okay after that launch the game and check if it's working or not if not again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and ok and then launch the game if it doesn't resolve again come back select disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and after that try to play the game and see if it's working or not if not next method is to run sfc scan so here you have to here you have to search for the command prompt now then you have to copy and paste this sfc slash scan now this will scan for any corrupted system files and replace them automatically so open command prompt paste this code and press enter and this will check if any corrupted files are there if this doesn't resolve then next method is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall network protection then click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings after that here you have to search for the game if it's not listed click on allow another app now click on browse after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after that select the game now make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok after that launch the game and see if it's working or not if not next method is to modify launch options so for that go to the steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then check if it's working or not if not again come back type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if it's working if this also doesn't resolve again come back type minus d3 d11 and then try to launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue next solution is to update windows so for that go to the windows search search for check for updates this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option will be available here in my case it's saying an update is available and restart required so you will get a check for update option simply click on it and it will check if any update is version now launch the game and check if it is working or not if not next method is to perform a clean boot so for that you have to press windows plus r and have to type msconfig now click on ok to open system configuration page 
here you will go to services and then select hide all microsoft services after that click on disable all once done again go to startup tab click on open task manager now here you have to select the uh, apps after selecting click on disable once done again come back click on ok and then restart your pc once and then check if you can play the game if not next method is to check graphic settings of the game so when a graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role so make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue next solution is to stop overclock cpu and gpu setting so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu or gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of cpu or gpu in the background this will help you to fix the issue next solution is to close unnecessary background task so for that go to the windows search search for task manager now here you have to search for those apps which are of no use but running in the background simply select them after selecting right click on it and click on end task so this will completely close the app from the background once done launch the game and check if it's opening or not next solution is to install visual c++ files so for that i have already provided this link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for visual c++ files on your browser now after the website opens go below and from here you have to click on the link this will download the link once the link is downloaded click on it to open here you will get an install or repair option so you have to click on repair option and wait for some time now you will get setup successful message simply close it and then restart your pc once after restarting again launch the game and check if you can play it next is to change virtual memory settings so for that go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings click on settings then click on advanced then click on change now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed after that click on custom size in the initial size you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576 after that click on set and then click on okay once done launch the game and check if it helps next solution is to disable in game overlays so for that go to steam now click on steam option then click on settings now go below click on in game and here enable the steam overlay while in game option is available you have to click on it to disable if it is enabled once done launch the game and check if it's working or not geforce experience users open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and switch off in game overlay options from here For Discord overlay, go to User Settings, Game Overlay tab, switch off Enable In-Game Overlay option. Next is to disable Antivirus program or firewall. So for that, go to the Windows Search, search for Windows Security. Now here you have to click on Virus and Threat Protection, then go below, click on Manage Settings, and here you have to turn off Real Time Protection. If it is turned off, well and good. If not, you have to turn off Real Time Protection. Once done. Again go to the windows search. Now you have to search for windows defender firewall. Now click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and here you have to select turn off windows defender firewall in both public and private network settings. After that click on okay and then launch the game and check if it is working or not. But later on make sure to enable the protection once again. Next is to install DirectX on your system. So for that go through the link I have already provided in the description. Copy and paste it in your browser. Now once the website opens, here you have to click on download option and this will download the DirectX file. After that you have to install it. Once you install after installing, restart your PC and then try to launch the game and check if it's working or not. If not, next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card. So for that go to the Windows search search for graphics settings. Now here you have to add your game to the list. For that click on add a desktop app and go to the game folder where your game has been installed. Select the game application, add it to the list over here. Now after adding the game to the list, here you have to click on the arrow icon and on the GPU preference you have to select high performance. After selecting high performance, launch the game and check if it is working or not. If not then the final solution is to reinstall NO117 Pax Roman again. For that go to Steam under library section select your game, right click on it. 
click on manage then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once your pc restarts again launch steam and reinstall no117 pax romana game on your system and then click on the play button to check if it's launching or not